This video will show you how to request and apply an AR server license. The first step to acquiring a Remedy AR server license is to actually log in to the BMC Support Central portal using your BMC Support account that has a valid support ID. Click on the My Support tab and then the License and Password link. Once you click on that, it'll bring you to the License and Password page. You'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see the Remedy Licensing and Password section here. You'll also go ahead and click on Request a New License once you're ready to proceed. And this will actually bring you to the End User License Agreement form. From here, you'll scroll down to the bottom of the page after you've read this. And then you'll have to either agree or disagree to the terms. I'm going to go ahead and click I Agree to continue. But once you do that, it'll actually bring you to the self-service portal on the Request a New License tab. From here, you'll need to select a contract ID. You can click the drop-down box to do so. You'll need to enter your purchase order number. And then from there, you'll need to make sure your email address is correct. And you'll also need to make sure that your AR server version is selected. And then you'll also need to go ahead and enter a site name. The last thing you'll need to enter on this page is the host ID. Now the host ID is specific to each AR system server. In order to get that, you'll go ahead and you'll log in to your AR system mid-tier and click on Applications, AR System Administration, and then the AR System Administration Console. From here, you'll click on System, General, and then you'll click on the Add or Remove Licenses section. From here, you can actually see all the licenses you've applied you can see I actually have already two servers that have already been licensed. Right now, this is actually a server group. I have RIM AR01, 2, and 3. Server 1 and 2 have already been licensed. That's the two you see. So I actually need to navigate to server 3, and you'll see the current host ID in the top right-hand corner. Once again, this is specific to each server in the group. It is not shared between the group. So you will need to make sure you have a mid-tier that can connect to each server individually. So if you have a load balancer, you might need to configure your mid-tier to handle that. But once you've selected your server that you need on your mid-tier, you'll go ahead and you'll copy the host ID and just enter it as it is into the self-service portal. The last thing you need to do is you will need to select a quantity for the BMC Remedy IT Service Management Suite. You might actually see some other options here, but this is what you need for AR Server. I only need one quantity. You want to make sure this stays highlighted, and then you'll click Request a License. If you run into an error like this, just click OK and actually just refresh the page and try again. Uh, sometimes it, it likes to throw an error. Enter that again, and now I'm going to click Request License. And as you can see, the order did submit, and I will be receiving a new license shortly. It tells you the email address as well that you'll receive that at. Once you're ready to move on, you can click OK or Refresh, and it will bring you back to the requ Request a New License form, where you could go ahead and request a new server if you need it. This is helpful if you have many servers you're going to try to license at once. Well, I already have my email here, and in order to add the license, you do need to log in to the server that you're going to license, and then you're going to click Add New. License type is AR Server and AR Server. I'm only going to add one license because you only need one per server, and I entered the key. Now, you do want to make sure you remove any trailing spaces, and then you're going to click Save. You will then be presented with the BMC Software Hereby Grants a Non-Exclusive License Remedy Message. And you'll click OK. Now the server is licensed. Once you've added this, your server is now licensed and able to do all the things that AR Server is typically expected to do. Thanks for watching this video.